sheet to your right. Sir. Okay. I go like this, will be bad. That would be bad. Unless you want to do this as a voiceover. Yeah. <laughs> okay. you know, James, I've always been fascinated with actors' early experiences. You know, a lot of actors do TV commercials at one time. Is that something that you ever considered doing or auditioned for? Um, well, when I first started in the business, um, I, mean, I was doing community theater, basically. My, my mother saw my interest and, and gave me the opportunity to come in and I met agents who looked at me and said, Greg, we've got to get you a Corn Pops commercial. And so they sent me out for like a year and a half auditioning for commercials, and I didn't get a single one. I mean, like for, I mean, I would travel three hours in from Connecticut, got to have my pot, and then travel three hours back. And it was terrible. I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't book a thing. And I'm saying, well, maybe I'm, I'm just not good enough. Um, and then, I, and then I, they sent me in on you know, some, some more serious stuff, and I ended up getting a play with Edward Albee. Um, the, the New York premiere of, of a play that he'd written, you know, that he wrote and directed. So, um, and then actually I did get, you know, one commercial, but that was because I thought I was so wrong for it, I just didn't care. <laughs> and that was, that, of course, happened to be the, the, the one that I got, but, uh, but yeah, I, I was awful at commercial auditions. I probably, I mean, if it wasn't, you know, Dawson's Creek obviously changes things, but if it wasn't for that, I probably still couldn't get a commercial if I really, you know, was anonymous and tried. I think every actor gets uh, like bizarre um, uh, advice from people along the way. Uh, I have a, a long European name, and you have kind of like a, I guess like a Dutch, Dutch type yeah. spelling. Did you ever have people come up to you and say, "Hey, kid, you got to change it, the Jimmy Van"? Yeah, Jimmy Van, Jimmy change Van. it, to Jimmy Van. Actually, everybody kind of thought it was cool. Everybody uh, liked the long name. It was, you know, because then it became known as, well, "Where's that Vander something kid?" Let's get. Who was that Vander kid? It was in that Nikki Silver play. So it was like, yeah, that, that's what became known. No, and people, it, people still actually get it wrong. I got a, uh, a present from Columbia TriStar, addressed to James Vanderhorn. I guess my own employers don't really know my name. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, there's a great scene in the movie when when you go to a convenience store and you get special yeah. treatment from the uh, yes. from the the person behind the counter. And it gives me beer. Yeah. Well, in, in real life, uh, how quickly did you notice suddenly that people were treating you differently? And did, does that ever show up in in ways of like upgrades on airlines? I haven't gotten an upgrade on an airline. I've tried. I mean, I, actually, I couldn't even get into the uh, in like the the pilots lounge or whatever. I was I was held over in Atlanta for like five hours, and I was you know, kind of like trying to hide behind a phone booth from all these like girls walking by, and I I tried to talk my way in, and they wouldn't let me. So they try and explain to the guy that I was on a TV show, which is really pathetic. <laughs> I'm famous, I swear. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it, it's you know. Well, a question about the, movie, the football scenes. Um, yeah. the, the actor or the people they recruited to uh, to be players were those guys sometimes a little overzealous in the, in the football scenes? Um, they were they were really respectful of us. I mean, of course, I think they knew their jobs were on the line. If they took any one of us out, <laughs> they're probably going to get fired. But um, I mean, the, the, our football coordinator, Mark Ellis, would tell because I mean, we trained for weeks before we actually started rolling the cameras. So we, I mean, we really knew all the steps and 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 how to, you know, how to be a quarterback. Pretty much, we we knew so much more than we were actually called upon to do, in the movie. Um, so we had this you know, this this confidence that we could really step in and do it, and we were running the plays at full speed. And the uh, the football coordinator would say, you know, don't hit the actors half speed hits, and then of course he'd turn around and we'd come up to the guys, but come on, hit me. I want, I want it to look real. And the guys were like, all right. And then so we'd bark out the signals, run around, and just get clocked. I mean, I got clobbered a couple times. 